One of the things that you've been doing in, in recent years that's totally blown me away, and I think probably a lot of other people as well, is the, uh, your, your arrangements of uh, ballads and, and slow songs, you know. Yeah, some of that's <laughs> deliberate and some of it is not. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it, you really get some amazing depth into your arrangements. And uh, one of my favorites is Shenandoah, which I know you've been doing live for quite a long time as a solo. Yeah, I, I enjoy uh, playing that piece, I really do. Uh, can you show it to us? I can try to. It's 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 another one of those pieces that always comes together different well, from, let's... From, from beginning to mm -hmm. end. And, and it's done in a low D tuning. Oh, okay. <laughs> Drop the low E, the low E string down to D. And usually in performance, I start that tune in, instead of starting it in D, which is the key that uh, Shenandoah has played in. I usually start uh, noodling in an A minor position. And I explain the, try to explain the reason I do that is because it, it creates a certain amount of tension. And by the time a shift, by the time the shift is made from, from just some free space improvisational things in A minor, the way I link that with uh, the first D chord of Shenandoah, the tune itself, the way those two things are linked, uh, the, Hopefully, the listener may find up to be of some interest. Uh. 